Hey y'all, welcome back to another, or to the kitchen, for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Uh, today, kind of got a little special one for you. It's going to be a twofer. We're going to give you two little recipes. And these recipes, I have never given out to anybody ever in the world. Um, they're very special recipes to me. Uh, I've actually made these up myself, uh, trial and error. Everybody loves them. Uh, we're going to start out. We're going to do uh, some guacamole. I'm going to show you my, how to make my, my guacamole. And uh, If anybody's ever had my guacamole, you know, it's delicious. And the other one is corn salsa. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to make them and uh, hope you enjoy them. Alright y'all, here's all the ingredients we're going to need for this, for both the recipes. Uh, we're going to start out, we got some the corn for the corn salsa, got the avocados for the guacamole, some fresh limes, red onion, some Roma tomatoes, and some uh, cilantro, fresh cilantro, cilantro, that's easy for me to say. Uh, also got a little cayenne pepper over there on the side to give a little bit of a kick, but uh, I'm going to get set up here and get to chopping this up, and uh, we'll uh, bring you back when we're doing that. Alright y'all. We're going to start out with the corn salsa. Uh, first thing, of course, a bowl. We're going to put the uh, corn in there. You, you can use fresh corn, frozen. Uh, this happens to be canned. Drain, just drain it really well. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to juice a half a lime. And I always roll it around a little bit there to kind of get it loosened up there. And then just take your lime and squeeze it over there. Get your fingers up in there and get all that lime out of there you can. Alright, set that aside. We'll set that aside for the next recipe. And then one halfway decent Roma tomato. I always kind of core them out. Get rid of all them seeds and stuff. I mean, not that you can't use them, but for presentation and taste, I like to not have the seeds in mind. Hope you guys can see. I'm trying out a new camera. Now, that's a whole, a whole, I guess, bunch of fresh cilantro. Just take it like that. You can tear it, you can chop it, you can do whatever you want. I chopped mine. Whew. Wish you guys were here and smell that fresh cilantro and that fresh lime. Ooh, yeah. Try to get it chopped up best as possible. You know. Once we get that chopped up, throw that in the bowl. Now, the next major, oh, we've got onion. We gotta do some onion. I'm getting uh, sidetracked there a little bit. Nice red onion there. Get rid of that stuff. <coughs> Turn my cutting board off there a little bit. I'll slice that down like that. Get 
turn her sideways. Yeah. And then just give her a fair chopping like that. Don't want too big of parts. If you see anything that's too big, chop it up. So clean my knife off. I'll throw that in a bowl. And yeah, we're probably gonna reserve that. That eh, why not? There we go. I'm going to reserve this for the, re for the next recipe. So, now, very important part here, guys. You got to, you got to, you know, do this, you know, very, very diligently. Reach your hands in there and mix that up. You know, heck with them spoons. Get your hands in there. Get your hands dirty, you know. So, all right, there we have it. Turn some hands off here real quick. There you guys got it. You know, my corn salsa. Simple, easy, quick, you know. Now let this sit for, you know, an hour or so. Uh, give it a little taste. If it needs a little bit more lime juice, put a little more lime juice in it. Um, you can add some cayenne to this. I prefer not to have cayenne in this one. But uh, there you have it. There's that one. We'll get set up for the next one. And we'll bring you back. Alright guys. Time to get busy on that uh, guacamole. Uh, we're going to start out with the onion. Because we've already had some onion left over from the last one there. And that up a little bit this has part of the core on it so I'm gonna chop it off there's that chop that little bit of core off of that one Now you want your pieces a little smaller for your guacamole, you know, just the way I do it. If you like big pieces of onion, by all means, make big pieces of onion. Nope, there's a piece of core right there. Piece of core laying there. Put that in the bowl. Oop. Don't break the bowl with a knife. Alright. Now we're going to do two tomatoes in this one. All right, y'all, got those tomatoes all chopped up. Next, you know, again, more cilantro, you know, about that much. Now, don't be afraid if you got too much cilantro, if you buy too much fresh, you can freeze it. If you're going to be using it in a, another recipe, you know. Definitely want to get this chopped up fine for this recipe here.
my cutting board's a little crooked. For recipes like this, don't buy the dried cilantro. This is easy enough to do on your own. So, all right, there we go. It's mostly all chopped up nice and fine. Like I said, this is to taste. If you want if you want a little more cilantro in, put a little more in. If you don't like cilantro, you know, don't put as much in. You still have to have it in there for guacamole. Don't say, I'm just going to leave it out. Because you won't have guacamole. You won't have good stuff. So, anyways, back to these. Let's do these avocados here. Yep, I got myself, y'all. Be careful. Don't be like the bear and do stupid stuff. Don't hold it in your hand like I just did. You know, and then get that out of there. Pop and twist. Yep, see? I'm going to go get a band-aid and we'll be back. Alright, y'all. All bandaged up. I'm going to put a glove on, though, because... Uh, Lime juice and open wounds. That doesn't uh, that doesn't feel well. So let's do this the right way now. Oh, there we go. These aren't good limes, or good uh, avocados. All right. All right, I'm gonna set that off to the side over there. These things aren't ripe enough, or quite ripe enough. If they're good and ripe, that seed will pop right out of there. Like that one right there. Nope, no big deal. I know you're hollering at me, I was holding it in my hand again. Alright, now get the pulp out of there. Grab yourself a spoon. Move these over to this side here a little bit. Bring my bowl up there. And just scoop that stuff right out of there. Just make sure you don't get the stem. The stem will stay with it. So you can go around them if you want, however you want. But that stuff it'll come right out of there. Get all that goodness out of there. Y'all that like the avocado toast and stuff, right there you go. All right, we're not going to use that one because it's not ripe enough yet. But three should be fine. Four would be better. So you guys get the gist of the idea. I'm not going to lie to you, the first time I ever made this stuff, when I cut one of them open, because I'd never cut an avocado open in my life. You know, I've always seen them green. Never seen that yellow in there. It all will turn green in due time. Trust me on it. I was freaking out. I had to call somebody and ask them about it that had made this before. They were laughing and Tell me, oh yeah, yeah, it's all right, it's all right. So, all right, so there's that. Put that all down in there. And I may go ahead and uh, 
cut that other one up because I'm going to need it. So I'll bring you all back when I get that one cut up and diced up. All right, y'all. Next thing is another lime. Cut that sucker in half. And you can use the the bottled stuff, you know. It ain't no big deal. But I get in there with a spoon and for this recipe I get in there with a spoon and get all the goodness out of it. The other one I just needed you just needed a flavoring of it. So there's that one. You go got that now just gotta mix it up it looks like I should have used a little bigger bowl but it is what it is now this isn't gonna look like your regular guacamole because I'm down I didn't get that other uh, avocado cut up it was it, it was there was something wrong with it so uh, I couldn't even get it out of the shell and I wasn't gonna I wasn't going to sit there and try to peel the thing, so. And yes, I'm using my gloved hand, because I don't want to get the other hand all yucks. So. Alright, I think you all are going to get the point. So. You can use a, uh, sometimes I'll use a potato masher to uh, do it before I put all the onion and everything else in it that gets the uh, avocado good and smushy yes that is a technical term smushy and I'm getting this stuff everywhere but it's worth it as you can guys can see it's turning green Still little bits of yellow in it, but once you get it all smushied, it'll be fine. Trust me. Have I led you wrong yet? So, all right, that's smushy enough. Throw that over there. I'm gonna clean this up, clean this up, and we'll bring y'all back. All right, there you go, y'all. Two of my uh. Super top secret uh, recipes that I have never ever given to anybody else. Now, I put it all out there on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give us a taste. And taste this guacamole first because this is actually my favorite. Mm. That's better than any, anything you'll get in any restaurant. I guarantee it. Guarantee. Now, you can put a little cayenne pepper in there. A little bit of a kick would have been a little bit more creamy if we would have put another uh, avocado in there but it is what it is but hey I like it hmm there it is now I'm gonna try this one out again so hmm you like corn salsa there you go All right, y'all, there it is, my corn salsa and my guacamole. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed making it for you. Uh, did get a little bit of an injury, but hey, that's cooking, you know. Everybody gets, in, you know, gets cut a little bit or whatever. But I want to thank you all for stopping by and hanging out with me in the kitchen here today, checking out what I'm cooking. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell for all the, get all the notifications of everything I do here in the kitchen. I do out in the shop, we go tractor pulling, you know, get notifications for it all. And uh, please, if you can, share it out, let all your friends know. Try out my great recipes. So, we'll catch you all on the next one here. So, we're going to shut her down. Bear appetit. Got it right. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.